This video might be a little dry uh, for some people, but I thought it was important to do. I did an interview at an Airbnb that I stayed uh, with Natalie and Alejandro. Um, they have a business uh, for tourism. They do transportation, they do the logistics of arranging any kind of tour, and of course they have the tours. Now the tours, well they can do the typical commercial uh, tours that all the tourists do. They actually design tours for whatever your interest may be. So they might be adventure tours or nature tours or eco green friendly tours. They have cultural tours where you can go and stay on a farm for two, three days or more if you want. And you can work with the people that own the farm and make panela and pick the coffee and roast the coffee. And so there's a lot of things that they can arrange specifically for what you're interested in. And um, they specialize in off the beaten path. So I thought it was pretty interesting. So I put together this interview. And if you're interested in those sort of things, you can pause at the website at their Airbnb to get the information. You can see the website address up in the window if you pause it. And I hope, I hope you get something out of this. If you're not interested in that, I would suggest you skip the video because you'll probably find it uh, dry. Uh, she speaks English and not bad, but she has to, like many of us that aren't so fluent in Spanish, we have to stop and translate in our head. And so I've cut a lot of that out of there, um, <clears throat> but that may affect your viewing. So take this as informational video. And I thought that what they do is quite interesting. So let's take a look. Tell me who you are. Okay, uh, my name is Natalia. I'm from Bogota. I live in, here in Armenia uh, a year ago. And uh, how do you like Armenia? I like so much Armenia and the other towns around Armenia, mm -hmm. like uh, Circassia or Salento or. Kalarka, uh, uh, Amicos is so near uh, different cities or mm -hmm. important cities of the country like Ibagué, um, Pereira, Manizales, Valcali too. Um, it's very central. Uh, uh, and because it's a city with so much uh, natural and environmental spaces and uh, landscapes is beautiful. I mean, it's one of the cities of my country that in the last 10 or 15 years uh, have so much um, uh, people without uh, employment. Oh, unemployment, yeah. Uh -huh. So, so much people uh, migrate to other cities uh, looking for jobs. And when we decide to uh, come to Armenia, one of the things that uh, was our goal uh, uh, was to work by business and to looking for some job that could where I call where I can uh, make my profession to um, anthropologist mm -hmm. too and now I'm uh, this Monday, yeah, I will. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I will uh, 
uh, to initiate in a university. So uh, people have uh, his or our business, but uh, we can also have uh, another type or uh, of of job mm -hmm. like like me and I will be a teacher in this university so my husband and, and my uh, and, and me uh, have uh, this business this business uh, I mean the name is lots uh, L -O -T -T -S. means L O T T S mm -hmm. yeah uh, and it means uh, logistic and transport in you know, a tourism service we are uh, working with this, uh, I don't know, two years ago mm -hmm. in Cali and now here in Armenia. Uh, we have a, a Renault Duster and we offered some service with uh, some service to the hotels and the hostels. Mm, so you have um, the Airbnb where you rent room. Yeah, this is one. And then you have the Renault Duster, the, the SUV for transportation. Yeah. So you not only can take people like me yeah. somewhere, but you also do transportation for the hotels and hostel yeah. others. Yeah. And um, here we have the Renault. Uh, we also have the contact with others. Uh, uh, people who have other kind of uh, vehicles like uh, buses, uh, how do you say bus? Bus. Buses. <laughs> buses. The other part of the business is that we have a, um, the offer to contact the people, the tourists, uh, with some hotels uh, mm -hmm. in urban some but rural some too mm -hmm. uh, so you can make a lot of connections yeah yeah uh, for nature tourism or adventure tourism or rural, rural or cultural mm -hmm. tourism example people can uh, walk in or take a horse or take a bike around the mountain and go uh, cultural tourism where you can know what people are doing in, in these towns uh, not like a theatral ASM like Parque del Café yeah. <laughs> where <laughs> there is the typical some, tourists yeah uh, we are connecting people not just like Parque del Café or Panaca that is a typical and most commercial right. tourism. A service, uh, just a experience to uh, have a day or two days or a few hours with uh, the people and know what they do, what they eat, what they uh, <laughs> make with some a uh, few moments in the day that so there is no day, working, yeah. like uh, go to the uh, like bar social. It's like uh, some bars, but it's uh, some typical from here uh, to uh, drink a coffee or drink a beer, um, play some billar or mm -hmm. billar pool or when, when, whatever. Um, we, we call it uh, gallinas felices, happiness uh, chickens. <laughs> uh, there is a family that produces eggs, mm -hmm. uh, but the and all people in the in the town uh, call it eggs ha happy <laughs> happy eggs because they, uh, the eggs oh healthy mm -hmm. with good food lots of exercise and uh, and because uh, 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 which one have a name uh, <laughs> and uh, how can you eat <laughs> yes i know yes i know, I know, I know. Uh, no the, chicken, the chickens have a name not the eggs 
No, the eggs. The eggs have no eggs. This oh. song. <laughs> and this is so funny because uh, people are not in other countries, but uh, yeah, here in Colombia, when the tourists is Colombian too, mm -hmm. uh, but also when I, I don't know, it's European or uh, North American or uh, people is. People think that the eggs, all all eggs, is the, is, uh, are the same color, for example. Oh, right. And wow, it's blue, it's uh, white. Yeah. Uh, this well, is white uh, so eggs or red. white chickens. Brown eggs or brown chickens. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Most people didn't know that have the names to the chicken and to the eggs uh, but also be, because she and he when well, this family when we are uh, thinking that all things that we eat things that uh, nature are like sacred secreted mm -hmm. for the the, 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 the last park yeah. was in this area areas right. in the south of Kindio. They would stop the buses. Uh, and... yeah, yeah, so even when um, the last 15 or 20 years uh, the security is increased. It's very good now. Uh, now the people feel much security about yeah. this, this topic. In every town now you see military. Yeah, yeah. And this is the somebody asked me that that feels um, oppressive mm -hmm. and I said no that's freedom. Yeah. That's protection. <laughs> if you knew Colombia before this they are welcome but they're also very friendly. Yeah. They're not yeah. they're, they don't seem military they seem like your neighbor. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I love the situation now. They check the buses and, mm -hmm. and you feel so much safer. You know you're cool.